Hey everybody, it's Brian with the Bound Web Design here with another Squarespace tutorial for you. Today we're going to be talking about how to take the header navigation on your on your desktop version of your website and replacing it with an a hamburger menu, like what you would have on the mobile version of your website. Now, this can be useful for really any website that has a lot of options in the navigation. So if you have too many options in your main navigation in your header, you can, it can end up stacking into two lines, which doesn't look good. And so if, if that's the case and you have a lot of things that you want to put in the header navigation of your website, you might want to consider just having a hamburger menu, like what you would have on your de or your mobile version of your website for both the mobile version and the desktop version of your website. And so we can do this with a little simple CSS um, on the back end of your website. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we are once again here on my demo website. And as you can see here, I've added a lot of items to the header navigation in the back end here. And some of them like donate, I just duplicated the page. And so it's labeled donate copy services located. So it's labeled services copy and so on. Same thing with the events page. Just to kind of make my point and show you that, like when you when you go to full screen here, it starts overlapping and going on the second line because there are so many things here. So if you had a situation where you just naturally had this many things that needed to be in the header navigation of your website, you might definitely want to use a hamburger menu to make this look better. So. To do that, we are going to, we're in pages here, so we're going to scroll down to website tools, and then we're going to go to custom CSS, and then I'm going to get rid of this right here, so I'm going to not get rid of it, but just move it down to where it's not distracting, and I'm going to have this CSS in the description of the video here, but I'm just going to paste it in right now, and that's all you'll have to do as well. And you see it, it's gotten rid of all of those navigation items and you now have a hamburger menu there. And so we can talk real quickly about like what all of these things do. All these, there's three parts here to the, the CSS that we have here. The, the header nav, header actions display, which is none. What that does is take all of the items that were up here and it hides them. And then you have a header burger, the display is flex. And so that puts the, the hamburger menu there. And then the header menu open, header menu visibility visible. So all that does is make it to where you can actually click on it and it opens up. So let's save that. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So once you click the hamburger menu, it opens up just like it would on mobile. And then you can click the X to close it back out. And if you wanted to edit this, all you're going to have to do is go into edit. And then you're actually going to want to go into the mobile view. And then you edit site header. And then you can click on this menu here and then click the pencil. And you have these different options. You can make it be a plus, two lines, three lines, or the three lines with the patty, like you have the button, the top and the patty and the bottom bun on the hamburger. You can make the patty be a shorter and indented line, which is how we had it set up. Let's say we want to do the three lines. You also can adjust the thickness where it can be small, medium, or large, or you can click the three dots and on the slider to whatever pixels that you want it set at. So, I mean, we could make it thick or super thin. So either way you want to go about it, we'll say about three there and we'll leave it at three lines and then we'll save. And then we will go back to desktop and you can see it's the same here. So if you found that useful, please leave a like and subscribe for more Squarespace tutorials, tutorials like this one. And if you'd like me to build your Squarespace website for you, you can find my contact information in the description below.